In this video, we're going to continue to look at acetylene gas and some of its reactions, especially the expulsive nature of acetylene gas and chlorine gas when they're mixed. So acetylene gas is C2H2, and the two carbons are triple bonded, which is a really strong bond. So if you manage to break those with a flame, it leads to a pretty aggressive explosion, which is why acetylene gas sounds so loud, for one thing, and why it uh, so rapidly decomposes. Chlorine, on the other hand, chlorine gas, is just two chlorine atoms with a single bond between them. The chemical equations for what we'll be doing is taking the calcium carbide, mixing it with water. We'll get our calcium hydroxide, of course, and then our acetylene gas. We're gonna take that acetylene gas and mix it with chlorine gas, which will yield two hydrochloric acid molecules, two carbons, which builds up as soot, and a lot of flame and heat. Our materials are as follows. Calcium carbide, five grams, a lot of water, bleach, 100 milliliters, over-the-counter bleach, and six molar hydrochloric acid, 10 to 20 milliliters. And we're gonna get our chlorine gas by mixing the bleach with this hydrochloric acid, six molar, which will yield chlorine gas, water, and salt. Here's our methods and setup. I have a tube, a clear tube made of polycarbonate. It's two feet tall and about three inches in diameter. And it's glued down with silicone to the top of uh, another product actually. And we're gonna fill that completely to the top of water. Over here, we have a flask that's got our bleach in it and it's going to be corked. When we push in our six molar hydrochloric acid here, chlorine gas is gonna be formed, and it's gonna follow this tube up here and then down a glass tube so that it's released in the middle of this whole column at the bottom. Also at the bottom will be our calcium carbide right here, which will dump in, and that will be producing our acetylene gas. So when the acetylene gas is bubbling up and the chlorine is coming out of here and bubbling up, they'll meet from time to time, and you will get this pretty cool looking explosion. And that'll continue to happen. Usually the uh, calcium carbide runs out first. I have a glass tube here that's gonna go at the bottom of that cylinder, but it needs to be bent at the bottom to get the uh, bubbles of chlorine gas to meet the acetylene gas in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this going here. This is the cylinder I'll be using to uh, put the water in and then eventually the um, calcium carbide. I just use the top of another container and use silicone glue at the bottom. It's two feet tall, but it's made of polycarbonate and that's tough stuff. So it would be best to have borosilicate 3.3 glass, but this is going to do just fine. I've inserted the glass tube with a bend that the chlorine gas will be going through. And you can see it got pretty close to the center. I need to fasten it on the side of this somehow so that it doesn't obviously move around like I'm holding it here. To solve the problem of holding this thing upright inside that uh, larger tube, I glued these magnets here with a high temperature resistant silicone and I put four of them on the tube here and I'll be putting magnets on the outside of the polycarbonate tube uh, to hold it there and this is a tube that the uh, chlorine gas will be coming through almost in the center not quite but that will definitely work okay i'm happy with it and then i use the magnets on the outside here to hold this tube straight up and i use two because it does hold it stronger and that works great here's the tube again that the chlorine gas will be coming through i'll be using this to add the hydrochloric acid to the bleach which will be in here through these two openings in the top here's the final setup i have that glass tube in there the polycarbonate tube sealed it needs to be filled with water then over here is the flask with the bleach already in it the chlorine gas will be exiting through this tube right here and going down that glass tube to the bottom right there where the calcium carbide will be again with this full of water and then at the very end here this will be filled with our six molar hydrochloric acid it'll be pushed in dripped in through there chlorine gas out in here with acetylene gas and we'll watch the explosions ready to go here i've got my calcium carbide ready to dump in column of water there's about three quarters of a gallon of distilled water in here approximately bleach hydrochloric acid I knew it was going to take a lot of pressure to push down this water column all the way down this glass tube here so the chlorine gas could come out the bottom there and as i was testing this just to see how that would work yeah, the chlorine gas built up nicely but it leaked and that never happened it was coming out of here somewhere so I'm going to ditch this completely. I'm going to put the bleach in another flask here and use a rubber stopper with just a single tube coming out. And then I can put the hydrochloric acid in, rubber stopper it, and just have a simple system. I'm going to try this new setup here. I put new silicone on there. Uh, the old silicone didn't actually work that well. And I have a single tube now instead of 
uh, too. I did put a valve right here that will be open once I put the hydrochloric acid in there and the chlorine gas can get pushed down here. And the other thing, although it's hard to tell, is this tube is filled with air now because of the valve. So as soon as the chlorine, chlorine gas is uh, formed, it'll push the air out and then the gas right away. We won't have to push against that whole column of water. The setup is complete here. Uh, the bleach is in here, water is in here. This is my six molar hydrochloric acid, 10 milliliters. There's 100 milliliters of regular over-the-counter bleach right here, distilled water. And in here, I have my calcium carbide, five grams. It's capped just to keep any moisture out of it. I will be using a gas mask while I'm doing this because chlorine gas is involved, so I won't be saying anything. Pretty neat little experiment there. Look at all the stuff that accumulated at the top here. A lot of that's carbon, actually. And um, yeah, pretty interesting experiment, fun to watch. And thanks for watching.